If you can't already tell from my videos, um, I love Ibis Paint X. So in order to share my love for Ibis Paint X to you guys, I am going to be sharing you some hacks for Ibis. If you don't use Ibis Paint X, then sucks to be you. So this first hack is a very simple one actually. So instead of drawing a regular circle like this, so what you want to do is click the finger icon and then choose the circle tool. But still, they're not circles, as you can see. So what you want to do is click on back to the finger icon and click on force fade and put the length of the start and length of the end all to 0%. Now you're going to be making perfect circles every time and you can even do this with other shapes like rectangles, I don't know what else other shapes there are. So you know how difficult it is to color within the lines, right? No? Just me? Well, anyways, let's pretend it is difficult. So what do you do? Well, you go to the magic tool and select the area that you want to make sure that it doesn't go out of the lines from. So you just tap on it. And then from there, you can use your brush. And when you color it, whoa, it suddenly disappears and it doesn't go out of the line. So this also works for shadows and highlights and basically anything that you want to color within a space. So yeah really useful um i only just figured it out like last week so yeah great <laughs> huge thank you to colleen because if i didn't watch her video then i probably would have gone my whole life not knowing that there was a feature like this so if you're tired of doing line art you can go to the finger icon again and from the drawing tools pick the how am i supposed to pronounce this bezier curve yeah, let's go with that. And then from there, it creates these little dots you can adjust. And from there, you can do your line art. And it creates this kind of smooth curve that you don't have to do over and over again. And you can readjust it as well. And when you're done with it, you can just click the green check mark. If you click on fill and then choose the color of your choice, you can actually use it to fill in certain areas. This was actually so useful. Why didn't I know of this much earlier? You're finishing an artwork, everything looks great, and then you zoom out and see a little speck and you don't know where it is. You're not gonna look through all those files just to see where this one little speck is from, right? So what you want to do is go to special and click the lasso eraser. And from there, watch it erase everything. Personally, I would just create a new layer and use the same color to color on top of it, but you know, yeah, sure. Oh boy, remember this drawing? So this was actually suggested from one of the comments where it said, you know, there's a reference window in the settings in Ibis Paint X, so you don't need to like bring the photo physically into the Ibis Paint X app. You can just use the reference window. This has made my life so much easier because one, you get the full picture like as you're drawing in real time, and two, you can also get a reference into Ibis Paint X without having to put the photo like insert it into the actual image so this was a big game changer seriously the comments are like a gold mine for like you know suggestions and hacks let's say you finished your artwork but then you feel like something's missing well this is a way to maybe enhance your artwork a bit or create a certain aesthetic of it so first go to filters and then choose the blur effect or like the gaussian blur effect after that add another layer from the artistic section and then add noise from there you can adjust the strength to be whatever you want it to be um i personally like it to not be very strong so i like to stay around the 20 percent or even like 15 to 10 percent or sometimes i just don't even use it at all because i just don't like the look each person will have their own preferences so if you like it then you can but if you don't then you don't have to do it it's just personal preference Let's say you're super happy with this artwork and like the color palette and everything. It's just, you, you think it's great. Well, Ibis has no option to create like a color palette, but we can make it manually. <laughs> so from the filters, you can choose the pixelate section and then choose either docs hexagonal or dot square. And from there, you are actually able to create a color palette. It's super easy and you can save it and, you know, use it for future artworks if you ever want to use this color palette again.
This is something that I don't use often but I would like to share with you because I know that some people are going to use it. So go to the special tool again and then click on the liquify pen. And in the bottom right, there are actually different settings. So there's shrink, expand, like erase and like change, just or, like just liquify or move around. And it really helps a lot if you want to make changes into the artwork if you've already gone like to the final stages of it. This is just a good way of making sure that it does change but you know you don't have to go through the hassle of drawing again and coloring again and then finalizing it again so sorry for this abrupt ending but uh i was running out of time so if you guys want a part two because there are still a lot of hacks that i haven't gotten to showcase in this video then yeah you can just you know just tell it to me just say hey i want a part two and then i'll be like okay yeah sure so yeah um see you I was gonna say next week, but you know, that's not a guarantee, but see you next video.